Hey everybody, this is Darren, AWDGT2. Uh, I've been asked by several folks how I installed the fuel ethanol sensor on the uh, 2.5 liter single turbo Kia Stinger. There's the Kia Stinger. Now, most of my uh, instructional videos have been on my 3.3. Charlotte there, a little dusty. But I figured I'd show you how I installed the ethanol sensor on the 2.5. Um, so basically this kit is identical to the 3.3. There's nothing different. Um, all the fuel fittings are exactly the same But uh, one unique thing about the 2.5 liter is it has eight injectors. It has four uh, Direct in injection on top of the cylinders and then there's your high-pressure fuel pump It has GDI direct gasoline injection it has four more in the cylinder. So there's eight total So your options are either tap it before the four injectors or after the four injectors um I opted to go after the four injectors only because just the routing of the hoses and the fuel lines seemed like it was a, a much better option. So real simple, this is um, your fuel line coming in, after, actually after your low pressure fuel pump, and it runs into your uh, rail here, and you have four injectors on top, and then it comes out the rail, and that's where I tapped into the fuel sensor. So it runs into the fuel sensor, out the fuel sensor, and then into the high pressure fuel pump. All these are standard fittings from uh, Fuelit, which you can buy off the BMS website. Uh, the only modification I had to do to the system is this line that comes out of the injectors. So that's the line in, that's the line out. I had to rotate it 180 degrees. So normally this is rotated all the way around and then it attaches to the high pressure pump here. All I had to do was when every, all the hoses were disconnected, um, I swung it down. This way I could route uh, the fuel lines and I could still put uh, the cover back on without any issues to cover everything up. So that's the 2.5 fuel sensor. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment. Thanks.